guys, welcome back. This is Ewa Trends on Ewa TV. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notification, and leave a thumbs up for this video. We drop videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. Hey guys, welcome once again on Ewa Trends. Today, I will be telling us everything about Nathaniel Bassi. So, brace up as we get the train started! Nathaniel Bassi was born in the year 1978 on 27th of August from Ikot Ofon Ikono in Uyo local government of Akwaibun State, South South Nigeria. His father's name is Mr. Joshua Bassi, who happened to be a minister in the Apostolic Church Basho Embassy. He fell in love with music when he saw Dr. Panam Pleasant Paul, a prominent Nigerian gospel music icon, in a concert over 20 years ago. And since then, his passion and love for music has grown and translated into various musical experiences. In his early years, Nathaniel Bassi developed a rather uncommon interest for jazz music and began listening, imitating, scoring, and playing to the music of some well known jazz gurus, namely Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, Kel Qualum, and other jazz luminaries. His passion for the jazz form would later stir him up to seek out bands along the jazz lines. He then joined a top jazz quarter in a Lagos Spectrum 4, where he played along his childhood friends. About that time, Nathaniel Bassi was approached by one of the most respectable figures in Nigerian jazz and music circle. He served as a band leader and lead trumpeter at the Steve's Rhodes Orchestra for a period of two years and later moved on with his music career. As time passed, he began sensing a deep yearning within. There was more to his music than he ever thought. He later took time off his jazz pursuit to seek the Lord under the mentorship and guidance of late pastor Eskor Muffin, the former pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, City of David Parish. This decision attracted criticism from friends, artists and colleagues who thought it unthinkable abandoning what was a thriving mainstream music career to serve exclusively as a local church. Nathaniel Bassi is a graduate of politics and international relations at the University of London. He also attended music courses in and out of the country including the Middlesex University Summer School UK where he studied popular music and music business. His debut album, Elohim, was recorded and mixed in Cape Town, South Africa in the year 2008. He held a Christian program called the Hallelujah Challenge. This program was an online Saturday midnight prayer and no worship session. At that time, so many people were healed, there's so many testimonies flying all over the world. The online live gospel movement on Facebook and Instagram allowed users to connect from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. daily throughout the month of June 2017. While this program was going on, thousands and hundreds of people followed. According to CNN report, about 68,000 people joined the Instagram live stream, while over 50,000 joined the Facebook live stream. Daniel Bassi is a good example for every person who strives to find God in his tone. He has shown that the music industry is not about scandals, gossip, but also something sublime and pure. Nathana Bassi is married to Sarah Bassi and they are blessed with two lovely children. Nathana Bassi's net worth is estimated to about $500,000. And here are the list of Nathana Bassi's albums so far. Elohim 2008, Someone's at the Door 2010, God of Love 2013, The Son of God and Emela 2014, This God is Too Good 2016, Rivalry Flame 2017, and the latest, The King is Coming. And so far, he has won the Best Gospel Artist Afrima Award 2017. So guys, I guess we've been enlightened. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Until next time, bye-bye.